guys, for this next segment, we're going to take our bow suspension kit and we're going to anchor it low. I want you guys to watch me. Okay, guys, we're going to work some bicycle kicks from here. I want you to watch me. I'm going to go arms up. I'm going to go into a nice vertical line there. I'm going to bring the legs right up. I'm going to start to just work my bicycle kicks just like that. So knees are coming right back to the chest and extending right out and just working the most amount of range that you've got. So for me, it's round about there. Your turn to try it. Okay, Sarah, let's get into those bicycle kicks. So working those kicks, extending right out, bring the knees right to the chest. You can see she's holding her elbows soft straight, pointing straight up. And there's two ways of doing this. So we can do this with the head rested, but if you really want to challenge yourself and put some more pressure on your abs, we can actually lift the head so you can see that's what Sarah's done now. Up to you which way you want to do it. They're both okay. Let's work right through. We're about halfway. Keep the pace up. Keep pushing out. Now, if you start to get a little bit of trouble with your lower back on this one, you start to arch up your back, you can kick a little bit higher. Um, you're doing just fine, Sarah. Let's keep yours right there. Pushing right through, extending right out. And we've got five seconds left. Time. Okay, we're going to work some hips raise for this next exercise. I want you guys to watch. I'm going to set myself right up, arms back in that vertical position. And from here, we're going to lift right up. I want to make sure I hit a straight line at the top. I want to make sure there's a straight line between my shoulder and my knees, just like that. And then I'm going to come back down, touch my tailbone and lift again. So right at the top, I'm really squeezing my hamstrings, squeezing my glutes, squeezing my lower back as well. Your turn to have a go at this one. Okay, Christina, let's get into the hips raise. Good. So you guys can see Christina's lifting right up, hitting that straight line. So right at the top, we're really tensing the glutes, working that lumbar spine as well. Excellent. We're making sure we're touching down the bottom. You want to make sure you get a split second rest before the next repetition. So touch and lift. Very good. We've got about 15 seconds left on this one. Now it's important to make sure your feet are staying parallel, round about shoulder width, and your knees are staying right on top, um, in line with your feet. Let's go for one more repetition. And we're done. We're gonna stir the pot from a lying position on this one, guys. Check it out. So arms are nice and vertical. Gonna go straight legs, pin together like that. And we're gonna start to work our way around. Now you want to make sure your knees are staying glued together. Just like that. Once we do a bunch, we're going to change them over and we're going to work the circle in the other direction. Let's make it five repetitions on each side. Your turn. Okay, Sarah, let's stir the pot. So you guys can see beautiful movement. Everything's staying together. Nice big range of circles. She's extending right out and crouching and getting that tuck right in. And you can see she's changing every five repetitions. So you guys should be doing the same thing. So the vertical arm position here is basically just supporting you. It's just holding you in position. And we're really working the core, working the abs, working the obliques as well, and circling right through. Now, as you start to tire, you want to make sure that you don't loosen up on the knees. You want to keep them tight, keep them together. One last one, Sarah, and you're done. Let's everybody repeat the last three exercises.
Okay, Sarah, let's get into those bicycle kicks. So working those kicks, extending right out, bring the knees right to the chest. You can see she's holding her elbows soft straight, pointing straight up. And there's two ways of doing this. So we can do this with the head rested, but if you really want to challenge yourself and put some more pressure on your abs, we can actually lift the head so you can see that's what Sarah's done now. Up to you which way you want to do it. They're both okay. Let's work right through. We're about halfway. Keep the pace up. Keep pushing out. Now, if you start to get a little bit of trouble with your lower back on this one, you start to arch up your back, you can kick a little bit higher. Um, you're doing just fine, Sarah. Let's keep yours right there. Pushing right through, extending right out. And we've got five seconds left. Time. Okay, Christina, let's get into the hips raise. Good, so you guys can see Christina's lifting right up, hitting that straight line. So right at the top, we're really tensing the glutes, working that lumbar spine as well. Excellent, we're making sure we're touching down the bottom. You wanna make sure you get a split second rest before the next repetition. So touch and lift. Very good. We've got about 15 seconds left on this one. Now it's important to make sure your feet are staying parallel, round about shoulder width, and your knees are staying right on top, um, in line with your feet. Let's go for one more repetition. And we're done. Sarah, let's stir the pot. Good, so you guys can see beautiful movement. Everything's staying together. Nice big range of circles. She's extending right out and crouching and getting that tuck right in. And you can see she's changing every five repetitions. So you guys should be doing the same thing. So the vertical arm position here is basically just supporting you. It's just holding you in position. And we're really working the core, working the abs, working the obliques as well, and circling right through. Now, as you start to tire, you wanna make sure that you don't loosen up on the knees. You wanna keep them tight, keep them together. One last one, Sarah. And you're done. work some stiff leg crunches on this one. I'm going to show you guys how to do it. Let's set up first. And we're going to go into that stiff leg position right there. Hips are nice and low. I'm going to put my hands behind my head and work some crunches from here. Now, important thing is make sure your elbows are staying out. Don't bring them in. And I'm looking at my toes, so I'm looking straight up. I'm not going to look at my knees. Don't want to pressure my neck. I'm going to keep it here. I'm going to work the crunches from there. Your turn. Okay, let's get into those crunches. Good, so you guys can see nice steady movement. You can see Christina's shoulder blades are lifting right off the floor. Um, a little bit of support on the neck, but not too much. We're not yanking at the neck. We're looking straight up and keeping those elbows right out. Knees stay straight the whole time. So as you push up into that crunch, you're actually getting a really good stretch in the hamstrings as well. We're 30 seconds in, we've got 15 seconds to go. Good, nice controlled breathing. So you wanna breathe out as you're elevating and you wanna breathe back in as you're resetting and working your way back down. One more rep after this one. And you're done. Okay, working some infinities for this one, guys. So this is what I'm going to do. I'm going to lift straight up with my knees nice and straight. I'm going to circle out, and I'm going to start to work my way down. I'm going to close the circle when I get to the bottom. So let's try that one again. Lift. Circle. Close it. And lift again. Your turn to try this exercise.
Yes, Sarah, let's get into it. Good, so you can see we're lifting straight up. We've got that nice T perpendicular to the body so that you're getting good support at the base as well. And lifting straight up, knees straight, circling out, coming back down, making sure the knees stay straight the whole time during this exercise. Getting that tailbone to the ground and lifting again. We've got about 20 seconds left on this one. Good, so you wanna keep a nice steady pace with this exercise and you just wanna try and maintain that all the way through. Let's go one more rep, up, circle out and relax. Okay, we're working the can opener from here, guys. So this is basically hips down, holding my nice sturdy T. I'm just gonna open right up and stretch those adductors and I'm gonna bring them back together at 12 o'clock. Let's go one more repetition. And up here. Just gotta make sure your knees stay straight the whole time. Your turn. Okay, let's go, Christina, let's get into it. So you guys can see Christina's very flexible, so she's actually really extending that can opener, keeping those knees nice and straight, and her toes are pointing out, which is exactly how you want it. Okay, you feeling that stretch in the adductors as you do it? Brilliant. Let's keep working. We're halfway. Hips are staying nice and low, so you can see tailbones on the ground. Uh, there's no pressure on the back on this one, and this one's just a fantastic stretching exercise. We've got 10 seconds left on this one. Let's go one more rep. And rest. Let's everybody repeat the last three exercises. Okay, let's get into those crunches. Good, so you guys can see nice steady movement. You can see Christina's shoulder blades are lifting right off the floor. A um, little bit of support on the neck, but not too much. We're not yanking at the neck. We're looking straight up and keeping those elbows right out. Knees stay straight the whole time. So as you push up into that crunch, you're actually getting a really good stretch in the hamstrings as well. We're 30 seconds in, we've got 15 seconds to go. Good, nice controlled breathing. So you wanna breathe out as you're elevating and you wanna breathe back in as you're resetting and working your way back down. One more rep after this one. And you're done. Okay, Sarah, let's get into it. Good, so you can see we're lifting straight up. We've got that nice T perpendicular to the body so that you're getting good support at the base as well. And lifting straight up, knees straight, circling out, coming back down, making sure the knees stay straight the whole time during this exercise. Getting that tailbone to the ground and lifting again. We've got about 20 seconds left on this one. So you want to keep a nice steady pace with this exercise and you just want to try and maintain that all the way through. Let's go one more rep, up, circle out and relax. Okay, let's go Christina, let's get into it. So you guys can see Christina's very flexible, so she's actually really extending that can opener, keeping those knees nice and straight, and her toes are pointing out, which is exactly how you want it. Okay, you feeling that stretch in the adductors as you do it? Brilliant. Let's keep working. We're halfway. Hips are staying nice and low, so you can see tailbones on the ground. 
Uh, there's no pressure on the back on this one, and this one's just a fantastic stretching exercise. We've got 10 seconds left on this one. Let's go one more rep. And rest. Okay guys, this exercise is a ball and pin, or an air press if you like. I'm gonna show you guys how to do it. So I'm gonna set up one and two. I'm gonna go into my T position here, nice and uh, sturdy. And from here, we're gonna lift right up into a pin. We're gonna drop back down, stretch the lower back, and lift again, just like that. Your turn to have a go. Okay, let's get into it, Sarah. So lifting straight up to your pin, dropping down to your ball. So what we wanna do with this exercise is you wanna make sure you get a nice stretch down the bottom. We're gonna try and get our tailbone right down. And then we're gonna squeeze everything, squeeze the lower back and squeeze the hamstrings as well. We're gonna pull right up. We're doing really well, we're about halfway. Let's keep going. You want to make sure you're getting full range of motion with this one. You want to get the full stretch down the bottom. You want to lift, squeeze all the way up the top. We've got five seconds left on this one. Give me one more rep, Sarah. And we're done. Okay, guys, we're going to blend two exercises into one with this one. So we're going to work a front delt raise with our arms, and we're going to do a stiff back kick with our leg. I want you guys to watch. So nice and slow, I'm gonna finish there and come back, feet together, just like that. We're gonna work one side first. And you can see that nice, slow kickbacks. We're gonna then work the other side after 45 seconds. Your turn. Let's get into those. Good, so nice, slow kickbacks, working a front delt raise with it. So you can see the arms are soft, straight, and just pulling right in front of Sarah. She's doing it perfectly. And what we're gonna try and do is we're gonna try and hit a horizontal line right about here, there you go. Perfect. We're gonna finish back up with our back nice and tight, glutes are in, and finishing with your feet together, perfect. Let's keep it going, we're gonna hit it for 45 seconds. And we're going to change it up and hit the other side. Now, if you're shaking up a little bit, don't, don't worry about it. Just try and balance out. This is really working your stabilizers as well. We've got two more reps on this side, Sarah. One more rep. And change legs. Let's hit the other side. Go. Bit of a balancing act, changing from one leg to the other. But you can see Sarah did it perfectly. Just takes a bit of practice. You'll get it right. Good. As you're pushing up, you're just keeping full stretch on the cables and that's assisting you with, uh, with your balance. You're also working your shoulders doing that as well. Good. Keep working through. We've got three repetitions left. One last one. And you're done. Good job. Guys, we're going to work the isometric chair from, for this uh, exercise. Watch me. I'm going to drop right down into the chair just like that. I'm going to hold this position. I'm going to hold it for 45 seconds just like that. Your turn. Now let's go into that isometric chair, guys, and let's hold. I'm going to do this one with you guys. So you can see... Um, vertical line from my ankle to my knee, horizontal line from my knee to my hip, and vertical line again from my hip all the way to my shoulders. I'm going to maintain this, I'm going to hold this position. Now isometric exercises burn 
a lot more um, calories than isotonic exercises because your body's not used to holding your muscle tight for a prolonged uh, period. Generally, you're pushing or pulling. Um, you're going to start to shake up on this one. You're going to probably see me shake up a little bit as well. That's fine. We've got about 15 seconds left on this one, so let's keep that position. Let's maintain. Nice, difficult exercise, even though we're not doing anything. Five seconds left on this one. Three, two, one, have a rest. Let's everybody repeat the last two exercises. Let's get into those. Good, so nice, slow kickbacks, working a front delt raise with it. So you can see the arms are soft, straight, and just pulling right in front of Sarah. She's doing it perfectly. And what we're going to try and do is we're going to try and hit a horizontal line right about here. There you go. Perfect. And we're going to finish back up with our back nice and tight, glutes are in, and finishing with your feet together. Perfect. Let's keep it going. We're going to hit it for 45 seconds, and we're going to change it up and hit the other side. Now, if you're shaking up a little bit, don't, don't worry about it. Just try and balance out. This is really working your stabilizers as well. We've got two more reps on this side, Sarah. One more rep. And change legs. Let's hit the other side. Go. Bit of a balancing act, changing from one leg to the other. But you can see Sarah did it perfectly. Just takes a bit of practice. You'll get it right. Good. As you're pushing up, you're just keeping full stretch on the cables and that's assisting you with, uh, with your balance. You're also working your shoulders doing that as well. Good. Keep working through. We've got three repetitions left. One last one. And you're done. Good job. Now let's go into that isometric chair, guys, and let's hold. I'm going to do this one with you guys. So you can see um, vertical line from my ankle to my knee, horizontal line from my knee to my hip, and vertical line again from my hip all the way to my shoulders. I'm going to maintain this. I'm going to hold this position. Now, isometric exercises burn a lot more um, calories than isotonic exercises because your body's not used to holding your muscle tight for a prolonged uh, period. Generally, you're pushing or pulling. Um, you're going to start to shake up on this one. You're going to probably see me shake up a little bit as well. That's fine. We've got about 15 seconds left on this one, so let's keep that position. Let's maintain. Nice difficult exercise even though we're not doing anything. Five seconds left on this one. Three, two, one, have a rest. For this segment, I want you guys to connect your suspension kit to a high anchor point. I want you guys to watch me. All right, guys, so for this one, I'm going to glue my feet together just like that, turning side on, okay? Now, I'm supported by my arm underneath me, so I'm just holding a straight line from um, my elbow all the way to my shoulder. And what I'm going to do from here, I'm going to drop and lift. So it's a side bend, but it's in a lying position. Drop and lift. This is all obliques. 45 seconds on one side. 45 seconds on the other. Your turn. So this starting position with your hip down is also your stretch. So we're going to start from here and we're going to lift from here. Let's go, Adriana. Good. And we're going to drop down. We're getting a stretch and we're tensing back up. We're flexing now. Good. Drop it right down and pick it back up. Perfect. We're going to work on that for 45. And we're going to turn around and hit the other side as well. Let's keep working. So important thing with this one is try and maintain your straight line. 
straight line straight across. There's no twisting of the shoulders, okay? So we're not tilting back and forth, we're just maintaining. Um, and then just keep the feet glued together, um, knees soft straight, and just maintaining a side plank right at the top. Let's keep working, we're doing well. You've got four more reps on this side. Good, I want you guys to challenge yourself, drop it right down, pick it right up, one last rep. And time, so five seconds to change over. All right guys, we've picked it up on the other side now, let's keep going. Good, so there's some pressure on the shoulders, but we're gonna just try and keep that arm as vertical as we can keep it. And keep focusing on your obliques. What I want you to do is I want you to inhale as you're dropping down. Exhale as you're picking it back up. And just keep maintaining that posture. Keep looking for that straight line. Good, it's getting a little bit wobbly now, but that's okay. That's okay, fight through it. We've got 10 seconds left. Good, you guys can see Adriana really fighting through it. I want you guys to do the same thing. Let's get through. One last rep. And stretch. You're done. Okay guys, we're on the floor for this one. So what I'm gonna do from here, I'm gonna get into a tabletop position. I'm gonna work a crunch. I'm gonna come back. I'm gonna go into an oblique tilt. Once to the right, once to the left. And start from the beginning. Crunch, oblique tilt, oblique tilt, rest. Your turn. Okay, let's get into it, guys. So you guys can see really good range crunches while she's keeping her back, lower back glued to the ground. Um, the other thing you can see is with those oblique crunches, she's shifting towards her hip. So it's like drawing a small letter C, which is spot on, because that gives you a really, really good crunch. It's looking fantastic. What you want to make sure you do is maintain your tabletop the whole time, keep a nice steady base down there, and we're just working from the belly button up. One more rep. And have a rest. Let's everybody repeat the last two exercises. So this starting position with your hip down is also your stretch. So we're going to start from here and we're going to lift from here. Let's go Adriana. Good. And we're going to drop down. We're getting a stretch and we're tensing back up. We're flexing now. Good. Drop it right down and pick it back up. Perfect. We're going to work on that for 45. And we're going to turn around and hit the other side as well. Let's keep working. So important thing with this one is try and maintain your straight line. Straight line, straight across. There's no twisting of the shoulders, okay? So we're not tilting back and forth, we're just maintaining. Um, and then just keep the feet glued together, um, knees soft straight, and just maintaining a side plank right at the top. Let's keep working, we're doing well. You've got four more reps on this side. Good, I want you guys to challenge yourself, drop it right down, pick it right up, one last rep. And time. So five seconds to change over. All right guys, we've picked it up on the other side now. Let's keep going. Good. So there's some pressure on the shoulders, but we're going to just try and keep that arm as vertical as we can keep it. And keep focusing on your obliques. What I want you to do is I want you to inhale as you're dropping down. Exhale as you're picking it back up. And just keep maintaining that posture. Keep looking for that straight line. Good, it's getting a little bit wobbly now, but that's okay. That's okay, fight through it. We've got 10 seconds left. 
Good, you guys can see Adriana really fighting through it. I want you guys to do the same thing. Let's get through. One last rep. And stretch. You're done. Okay, let's get into it, guys. So you guys can see really good range crunches while she's keeping her back, lower back glued to the ground. Um, the other thing you can see is with those oblique crunches, she's shifting towards her hip. So it's like drawing a small letter C, which is spot on because that gives you a really, really good crunch. These are looking fantastic. What you want to make sure you do is maintain your tabletop the whole time, keep a nice steady base down there, and we're just working from the belly button up. One more rep. And have a rest. Okay, you guys, this is one of my old favorites. It's called the grandfather clock. So basically, it's like a plank, but you're swinging from left to right as you're holding your plank up. I'm gonna show you how. So I'm gonna set myself up. I'm gonna go into a nice triangle base. So just underneath the elbows, holding tight with the hands, and from here, I'm gonna hold my plank up and then I'm gonna start to use my obliques to swing it from left to right, just like that. Okay, and we're gonna ultimately hold up the plank throughout the whole exercise. Your turn. Okay, let's go guys, let's get into it. Good, so we wanna make sure we're getting full range on both sides. Good, little pauses at the side, so it means you just gotta squeeze your obliques at the sides. Now to challenge yourself for this exercise, you can step further back, okay? And if you find the exercise a little bit too hard for you, um, and you're finding it hard to hold on, step forward and ease off on it a little bit. Let's keep working, we're doing fine over here. We're about halfway, Marilyn. So, Make sure you're holding up that nice straight plank so you can see Marilyn's doing it perfectly. You don't want to arch up your back and start to put pressure on your lumbar spine. You want to avoid that. Let's keep working. We're doing well. We've got five seconds to go, Marilyn. One last thing on the other side. And we're done. So an abs rollout and a stiff leg kickback for this one. So watch. You can see I'm alternating between repetitions. Your turn. Okay, let's get into those, Adriana. So you guys can see a nice lengthy rollout, and we're kicking back as high as we can with a stiff leg. Now you can also see Adriana's toes are pointing out, so I want you guys to do the same thing. Point your toes right out, trying to reach the most amount of reach that you've got. Good, let's keep working through those. We're doing fine. Killing two birds with one stone here. We're working on the abs. We're also working on the hamstring and glutes as well. Three more reps. One last one. And have a rest, good job. Okay guys, we're gonna turn to the side for this one and we're gonna hold onto 
um, one cable only. Now watch what I'm doing. I'm holding with my far hand and I'm going over the top and supporting with my close hand. I'm going to go right up here. So what I'm going to do from here, I'm going to go into a side bend. I'm going to squeeze with my obliques and come straight back up. Just like that. You can see um, the knees are staying soft straight. So all the power is coming from the oblique. I'm going to go 45 seconds on one side, 45 seconds on the other. Let's get you guys to try it. Okay guys, let's get into it. Okay, so you can see, we're maintaining a straight body so we're not bending back or forth at all, okay? So you've got to maintain that. And knees are staying soft straight, so all the power is coming from the obliques. Um, hands are staying stationary, right on top of the head and they're not moving. You can see Adriana's elbows are right out, nicely supported and out of the way. Let's keep working. Now, these are fantastic for tightening up those love handles, guys. So, give this one a serious go. We've got two more reps, and then we're going to change. We're going to hit the other side as well. One last one. Okay, I'm going to get you to change over now. So, let's face this way, and let's keep going. Go. Good. So, you want to try and reach out. Get as much range as you've got. That's spot on. And we're going to come back up into a straight line. Perfect. Let's keep them going. Got around 15 seconds left on this one. Two more reps. Last one. And time. Let's everybody repeat the last three exercises. Okay, let's go guys, let's get into it. So we want to make sure we're getting full range on both sides. Do a little pauses at the sides, so that means you just got to squeeze your obliques at the sides. Now to challenge yourself for this exercise, you can step further back, okay? And if you find the exercise a little bit too hard for you, um, and you're finding it hard to hold on, step forward and ease off on it a little bit. Let's keep working, we're doing fine over here. We're about halfway, Marilyn. So make sure you're holding up that nice straight plank so you can see Malin's doing it perfectly. You don't want to arch up your back and start to put pressure on your lumbar spine. We want to avoid that. Let's keep working. We're doing well. We've got five seconds to go, Malin. One last thing on the other side. And we're done. Okay, let's get into those, Adriana. So you guys can see a nice lengthy rollout, and we're kicking back as high as we can with a stiff leg. Now you can also see Adriana's toes are pointing out, so I want you guys to do the same thing. Point your toes right out, try and reach the most amount of reach that you've got. Good, let's keep working through those. We're doing fine. Killing two birds with one stone here. We're working on the abs. We're also working on the hamstring and glutes as well. Three more reps. One last one. And have a rest, good job. Okay guys, let's get into it. Good. So you can see, we're maintaining a straight body so we're not bending back or forth at all, okay? So you've got to maintain that. And 
Knees are staying soft straight, so all the power is coming from the obliques. Um, hands are staying stationary, right on top of the head, and they're not moving. You can see Adriana's elbows are right out, nicely supported and out of the way. Let's keep working. Now, these are fantastic for tightening up those love handles, guys. So give this one a serious go. We've got two more reps, and then we're going to change. We're going to hit the other side as well. One last one. Okay, we're going to get you to change over now. So let's face this way, and let's keep going. Go. Good. So you want to try and reach out, get as much range as you've got. That's spot on. And we're going to come back up into a straight line. Perfect. Let's keep them going. Got around 15 seconds left on this one. Two more reps. Last one. And time. Well done for finishing your workout, guys. Please take a few minutes to stretch and cool your body down now.